Now, the global population aged 60 and older is set to double over the next 35 years, from 900 million to more than 2 billion. The United Nations says many of those will be in the developing world. The World Health Organization says that many elderly people might encounter abuse in their senior years. The WHO believes that one in ten elderly will experience abuse each month. Now that includes sexual, psychological, financial and emotional abuse. There will be more elderly women than men and the UN is concerned that women are at a greater risk of abuse. Well, for more on World Elder Abuse Day, uh, let's talk to Marco Aviotti. Aviotti is the uh, director of uh, Eastern Europe, Middle East and uh, Central Asia of Help Age International. Thank you very much for, your joining, uh, uh, for joining us. Can you just tell us what we mean then when we talk about the abuse of elderly people? What form can this take? Yes, yeah, so by elder abuse we mean any form of uh, any action um, against older people uh, and in many cases it involves some form of uh, relationship of trust so in many cases the perpetrators are family members or neighbors uh, and this can take many forms including as you say before um, physical abuse but also psychological and emotional abuse even sexual abuse and economic and financial abuse and also neglect can be a form of uh, elder abuse uh, when somebody fails to provide uh, for the needs of an older person that, that, that needs some sort of care. So what measures then can be taken to try and prevent uh, these acts around the world? Well, there are many, many pieces that need to be in place. First of all, uh, elder abuse goes fairly undetected and unreported in many countries because there is still a lot of taboo around the issues and many older people uh, don't want to report cases of abuse when they, when they face it because they also feel shame sometimes. So on the one hand, we need to raise awareness on the issue around the world. On the other hand, more information and more data need to be collected because uh, currently there is information about this issue only in a very, very few countries around the world. But where this data is available, then the numbers are very high. In, uh, in some cases, we have reports of, L of even 70 or 80 percent of older people reporting um, having experienced at least one uh, type of abuse during their life. Um, another issue is that more training needs to be provided to carers, to social services, uh, to authorities to detect cases of elder abuse and to understand how to deal with them. And finally, there, needs, there is a need to have um, some sort of um, legal framework in place so that also the perpetrators of elder abuse are punished uh, when this happens. Do you find that uh, the issue of elder abuse it varies in terms of the way that the, the government treats it depending on geographical location around the world? Is it, is it treated differently in different countries? Uh, it is. There are huge differences due to socio-economical status of countries, um, cultural contexts, and so on. Um, and also the type of elder abuse can be very different in some countries. Uh, and also remember that in older age, uh, because women are more likely to survive in older age, then you have a lot more older women that are uh, victims of, of elder abuse. And in some countries, in some African countries, for example, uh, elder abuse can take the form of witchcraft even. In other countries, it's more in terms of financial abuse, for example, forcing older women to uh, sign uh, a will under duress and, and maybe family members or neighbors sometimes take over their properties, their land and so on. So there are huge geographic and, and cultural and economic differences. Okay, uh, Marco Aviotti, thank you very much for your time.